G'day, it's Rob here again. Remember these? You should if you've been up on my most recent videos. These are those Banggood stepped drills that I was totally unimpressed with. While the smaller sizes did a reasonable job, once you got the larger sizes, things went pear-shaped. And I got a lot of comments, a lot of good comments, and, you know, some people had a bit of a go at me for doing it handheld, but I'd, I did that for a reason, because that is what most people that buy these things would use them for, handheld. Now, then I got comments, oh, you burn up the drill, burn up the, the, the tooling. Well, I didn't burn up the tooling at all because no, there was no damage, visible damage on this tooling after I'd used it. And, uh, you know, I don't know what they're on about. The blue coating certainly got burnt off, but, yeah, that's not a surprise. So what am I going to do? I'm going to revisit this again. I'm going to use the lathe. I'm going to use a very low, a low speed within the 300 RPM speed range. I'm going to sharpen these cutting edges on an oil stone. And then I'm going to drill through, try them in the lathe, drilling through some mild steel metal washers. Hang in there and uh, we'll see how it all pans out. Mild steel washer, flat washer. Looks to be about a couple of mil, I'll measure it. 1.63. 143 RPM. Cutting fluid. Just sharpened up. Cutting fluid. The lathe is in bottom gear. And we have a problem. So it was nothing to do with the way I was using them. I was using them as you would use them freehand which is what you buy these things for generally. So you can drill holes in cars, sides of steel cabinets to run pipes and wires through. You can't put those sort of things in a drill press or a lathe, you know? Got it? Right. 
We'll go the bigger size now, see what happens. Same problem. So it's got to be a geometry thing. That's all it can be. Looking at the back side of it, you can see that the, the cutting edges are set back from the centre line. Now they do it that way deliberately, otherwise all you're getting is a scraping effect. By setting it, if it was on the centre line, by setting it back you can see you get a, a slight chisel effect, but it's still not much compared to say a, a carbide tip, um, you know, circular hole cutter, a core drill. And so it's really only just a slight step up on the scraper really. I would expect it to see more frontal relief. But I mean that's how this is and I presume others are similar. I don't know, I can't say because I've never had much to do with these. And yeah, it's a, it's a mystery. So there you have it. it. It fails pretty much in the same fashion as most others fail and that is in the larger sizes. Have you ever watched comparative reviews? And there are some good ones out there where they look at half a dozen or more of these uh, step drills and you know use scales to get even pressure and do it in a drill press the whole bit. You find that when they finally do fail, they fail about here the really good expensive ones go right through so there is a difference in them and I can only say yeah I think it would have to be geometry because this metal is obviously super hard didn't suffer any damage whatsoever and uh, yeah anyway that's it from me I can't go any further with this that's as much as I can do but certainly even sharpening it you know, doesn't improve their cutting action there's there's something wrong it's something not right but Okay, over to you and uh, out for me. See you next time. Cheers.